Some news on Will Zalatoris, who WD'd ahead of the first round of the Masters last Thursday with a nagging back injury. The 26-year-old announcing today he's going to miss the rest of the season. He had back surgery. He had missed the last four months of 2022 after suffering two herniated discs in his back. He said, after careful consideration and seeking multiple medical opinions, I underwent a successful microdisectomy on Saturday. As much as I hate not being able to play the rest of this season, I am happy that I am already seeing the benefits of the procedure. Playing and living in pain is not fun. I look forward to making a full recovery, seeing everyone in the fall. Thank you to Dr. Michael Duffy, Dr. Tom Kelton, and their respective teams for getting me fixed. And of course, thank you to everyone for the support and the messages. I look forward to getting it back to 100%. In this case, we bring in our medical correspondent, Paige, who actually has had this procedure before. Walk, walk sure. us through your experience. Uh, for me, I had a 12 millimeter uh, herniation between L4, L5. I had my micro discectomy and it was an outpatient procedure. I walked to my car after the surgery uh, and it was the first time in months that I'd felt my right foot. And that was kind of what struck me is, is listening or hearing, reading what Will Zalatoris had to say is that he was already feeling and seeking, seeing the benefits of the procedure. Uh, without knowing, you, you likely think there may have been some nerve issues going on and that may be resolved immediately with the surgery, which good for him. And, and for me, my recovery, I ended up having stem cells re-injected into my disc, so my recovery was quite a bit longer. It was expected to be six months. It was about a year. Uh, some people have the micro discectomy and back living their lives within six weeks. So it, as far as recovery goes, it could be, a, there's a wide range of what that timeline could look like, but um, it's unfortunate that it got to the point where it, it, his life, or his quality of life or quality of golf needed to have the surgery done. But the prognosis is typically good for those that go in with a micro discectomy. Paige, at 26, you, you hear that surgery, though, and the, mm. the initial reaction to anyone is, oh, like you, you don't want to hear yeah. a, someone at that young a stage of their career have to deal with that type of surgery. We're going to take a look at some of the other notable players who have undergone this and then would love to get your forecast of what we could potentially expect out of Zala Torres going forward. Jamie Lovemark was just 22 when he had this in August 2011. Tiger Woods, remember when he had to miss the 2014 Masters and was the reigning PGA Tour Player of the Year after what he did in 2013. He had that surgery at 38. Stuart Appleby a year later. Graham Dillette, another young guy, was just 28 when he had it in July 2018. Kevin Chappell, after winning Valero Texas Open, it was just a year later, a couple years later, he has it in November 18, and Lonto Griffin at 34 just a year ago. So is there any continuity on how these guys, Paige, emerge after this surgery, or is it all just subjective on how their body reacts to it? Yeah, I, I think the, the good news going for Will Zalatoris is that he is young enough that he's likely going to have good healing. He's at, in good shape as a professional athlete and that always works in the favor of the athlete trying to come back the other thing that i would point to is that when this injury came about he came he talked in january about how much he had learned about his body he started to understand range of motion he understand his golf swing more so the learning process has already been implemented the damage had already been done years of playing professional golf or years of playing golf in general can do this to a body. That's why you see such a, a long list of professional golfers that have had this surgery done. But the, the biggest key is learning from that and figuring out a ba best way to move forward and protect your body. Uh, golf is not the easiest on your back, but there are ways that you can best maintain it. I originally injured mine and had a herniation in 19 years old. It wasn't until 11 years later that I ultimately needed to have surgery. So there's certain ways that you can and learn how to maintain your body throughout to have a long career with back issues and with previous back issues. Issues. So the good news is that he's already, it sounds like, learned quite a bit about his own bio biomechanics so that he can implement that as he moves forward and will hopefully have a healthy back post-surgery.